Believing the best about someone in the face of their bad behavior or cruel words is not an easy thing to do. Suspending judgment in the hope of change involves love, takes faith, and requires hope. But reflecting on this story and the story of God's grace in the Christian's life, the Christian above all is called to do this very thing. The man or woman saved by God's matchless and marvelous grace more than anyone should be willing to give someone a second chance. This is true because as we just read in 1 Corinthians 13, 7, love believes all things. Our love, informed and transformed by God's love, is eager to believe the best. That doesn't mean that love is undiscerning or gullible. It doesn't mean that love excuses sin or endorses folly. It doesn't mean that love believes lies or false teachers. But what it does convey and communicate is that love gives the benefit of the doubt. Love retains its faith. It doesn't become cynical or censorious towards other people. It doesn't think the worst until it has reason to. This is true also because the gospel has us anticipating that people can change through Christ. If anyone is in Christ, he becomes a new creature. And what they are is not how they will stay once touched and transformed by the grace of God. 